let's go ahead and start taking a look at how we can take multiple projections and stitch them together using the UV editor. So I'm right here back in Maya in our project and as you can see I've already UV mapped the other circle our other ball on the opposite side of the sword. I'm going to go ahead and come in here and I'm going to handle this area right here just below the blade and above the hilt. So let's go ahead and take three projections, even though we already have them here, just so you can see the general workflow of how it would go down. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one here, and I'm going to, actually I'm going to minimize the UV editor, and it just goes down here when you minimize them. And that way I can focus on the sword, zoom out a little bit, and get an easier momentum going around it. So when I rotate, it just focuses on that area. So I'm going to go ahead and select the opposite side as well. Now I do have shell turned on in here. You could also just set it to face if you wanted to go about it that way. So I'll go ahead and show you how you do it with face selected. So I'll just select all these faces on one side. I'm going to press Q so I don't actually accidentally move anything. Then I'm going to select the faces on the opposite side of this object. And I'm going to go ahead and take a projection from the Z axis. So I'll go up in here and I'll go ahead and create UVs. I'll go ahead and do planar mapping and select the options. Then I'll select the Z axis and click project. Now I can go ahead and open this back up and I'm just going to drag these off to the side for now so I can take my other projections. Go ahead and minimize this again and I'll just go ahead and click off into nothing and I'll select the two on the side. Hold down my shift key, select both of those on the sides and I can see if I angle my camera in that direction that it will be the x-axis because that's the one in the center here. It'll be the x-axis. So go up and create UV, select planar mapping, go to the options, and I'll select project from the x-axis and go ahead and click project. And I'm going to go ahead and of course open this back up and move these off to the side as well. I'm just going to grab both those shells and move them off to the side. Minimize this again, deselect it, and we're going to take one more picture from the top. So I'm just going to select all the faces on the top here and make sure I get them all just right. Now that I have all those, naturally I want to take this from the Y axis, just looking down at it. So I'll come up here, I'll go to Create UVs, Planar Mapping, select the box, and I'm going to select the Y axis and click Project. Now if I open this back up for the UV Editor, I can just drag this off to the side here. Now, one thing we're going to have to do is we have some overlapping faces, so we're going to need to unoverlap those. So we'll right click and we'll select shell. Then we'll click on one of the shells, press W on the keyboard, and just drag it off. Now you can see that there's a difference in shade, so we already know off the bat that this is flipped upside down. So I have to go up to polygons and I have to select flip. And of course, I'm going to have to do the same thing with the sides because we did the same thing. We projected straight through the model. So we're going to go ahead and select this one. We can see it's the wrong color. So we need to select it, go up to polygons and select flip. Now we have all our pieces and I'm just going to grab all these with a marquee select. Just left click and drag over all of them. And I'm going to drag them off to the side here so I can get a closer look at what's going on here. So we can already see that these are a bit mismatched in their size. And one thing we can go ahead and do is we were going to do this anyways. So let's go ahead and do it now. We're going to go ahead and use a layout to get everything uniformly scaled based on the model size. In order to do that, I'll just deselect with this window open. I'll go up here to polygons. I'm going to come down here to the layout option. I'm going to go ahead and select the little box next to layout. And we can see the layout objects. We want that to be set to single or multiple multiple objects, non-overlapping. We don't want anything to overlap. Our prescale, we're going to set to the world. That way it's prescaling it based on the world. You could also set this to object, would be fine. And you can go to separate shells. We want to flip any reverse. So technically I did not have to flip these over like we did before because when we do the layout, it's going to automatically do that for us. Now coming down to the layout settings, you can see I'm into the region and I want the scale mode to be uniform. So they're gonna they're not gonna stretch just to fill everything in here. It's not gonna try to stretch anything. It's gonna try to maintain a uni uniform size of all the pieces and then fit them in just fine. Shell stacking, you can leave the shape, rotate to 90 degrees. That keeps it from trying to rotate at an angle. When it lays all these out inside the UV space, our 
little box here where our texture is going to be. We don't want them rotating. We're just going to keep everything uniform. If you don't mind that they're rotating, you can go ahead and set it to free. I'm just going to leave it that the way it is. And you can leave these set default to 512 map and the percentage space in between UVs to a 0.2. And then once we have all the settings set up, we can just drag this off to the side. And we want to go ahead and marquee select over all of our faces, or you could even just select a small amount, just as long as you have something selected. Then you come here to lay out the UV options, go ahead and click layout UVs. Now we can go ahead and zoom in here, and as you can see, it's nicely rescaled everything, so everything is very uniform. You know, the blade, see how long the blade is and how wide it is? If you compare that to the length of the hilt, you'll see that it's attempted to keep everything in uniform scale. So if you even look at the object itself and you look at your UV testing texture, you can see A, B, C, D, E. The size of these letters is the same as the one, two, three on the hilt. And that's the general idea of what laying out UV does for you. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab those projections, drag them off to the side, and we want to stitch them together. So let's right click, go ahead and go to shell, and we can come over here and we can go ahead and select our shell pieces. So you can just click off and you can select these shell pieces. You can even press F to zoom in, drag it off to the side, and then hold down shift and get the ones in the back. As long as we have them all selected all the way around, we're good to go. So go ahead and zoom out in your texture editor and drag those off to the side. And let's go ahead and scale them up so we can work with them a little better because we can go ahead and just do another layout UV after we set this up because we're going to need to anyways. So let's go ahead and take a look here and we can see that if we grab this one, this is our center. So we're going to want to stitch the sides to it. So let's find out if you take a look at it, an easy way to do it is if you right click and go to UV, I can select the UVs on one side, then press F with my mouse over this. I can see this is the bottom of this. Then if I go like this and I select the opposite side, now I want these ones stitched so I can marquee select one of these and that's going to show me which side it needs to go to. So now I can see this is selected, that selected, and so I can just go ahead and grab all of these with UV selected and just drag this over. And what we're going to do, we're just going to keep this simple, is we're going to line these up as close as possible. So we're just going to kind of get them almost dead on top of one another, pretty much like that, as close as you can get it. And then you're going to just release and go ahead and come over all these UVs right here and just marquee over the ones that you want to stitch together. And then you just come up here and you see this just below the scissors. This is your sew tool. You can sew these together just by clicking it. And now if I right click and I select shell, deselect all, you can see it's stitched together. Now this shell is part of this shell. And even if you look at the texture, you can see that it's very uniform going across because now these two shells are one. All right, now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the opposite side. We'll go ahead and just grab this, drag it on over. We're just going to confirm real fast that this is the right side of this. and We don't have to rotate this around to connect that. So I'll go ahead and press F on my keyboard, kind of rotate around, and I'm going to right click in the, in the UV texture editor. I'm going to select the UV, and I'm going to marquee select that corner right there. Okay, and I can see that it is lined up the way I want it. So I'm going to select all of the UVs of this piece, get them almost dead on top of it, and then I'll go ahead and marquee select all the ones that I want to sew together, come up here just below the scissors, and sew them together. I'm going to do the same thing with these two side pieces. So a quick way to do that is we can just go ahead and marquee select the UV while we have the UV tool selection active, and I can see what lit up. This square goes here. And I can kind of see that if the looking at the length of this, I know that these are uniformly scaled because we just did a layout. So what I want to do is put is rotate this so it matches up because I know that it's going to sit this way because that corner matches with that dot there. So I'm just going to kind of rotate it, get it fairly even, press W, and then just drag this over. And now I'm just going to stitch these together, get it fairly close, marquee it, and stitch it together. We're going to do the same thing with the opposite side. So let's go ahead, come over here, select one of our corners. I can see that lit up, that lit up. So I know this needs to rotate this way, sort of a negative degree angle. So let's go ahead and select all these, press E on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and rotate it and press W and just move it on over. And this is all there is to it for stitching UVs together. It's very simple to do. So if you ever needed to take multiple projections, you know, because you really wanted to stitch it together and make the texture look real nice going across, so you can see how this is very uniform very nice all the way around the object. 
you know, this is how you would go about it. You could just take multiple projections, then in the UV editor, you can just stitch them together. Very simple to do. So we want to go ahead and rescale this back down to the same size as the others. So we'll just go ahead and you can just grab them all or right click, go ahead and go to shells, how I usually do it. Just grab them all, go up to polygons, and we already set up our layout. So we can just click layout. And now everything's nice and set up and they're all uniformly sized one to the other. But we also have to take a look at one more thing. Now I noticed when I did the automatic mapping that at the very top of this blade, there's this one little piece and it's, it's almost hard to find if you're looking through here. It's right here. It's one little piece right here. You can kind of see it. I'm going to zoom away in so you can see this little piece and it's from the top of the blade. I want to go ahead and just stitch this to the side of the blade because the other side is pretty much set up that way. So let's go ahead and just do the same thing with this side. So I'm going to find out which side it goes to. So I just select the shell. It's going to connect to this piece here. And I'll just drag this off to the side. And I'll go ahead and grab that little tiny piece again. And I'm going to drag it up. I'm assuming it's going to go up here. But just to double check, I'll right click. I'll go ahead and go to UVs. And I'll select both of them. And I can see that this is all that got selected. And I can also zoom out, make sure that it's not showing me the base which it's not, nothing's highlighted down there. And that's gonna show me that this is where this thing connects. It just connects right here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect those just like we did with the other objects. So I'm gonna zoom way in, I'm gonna grab it all, and I'm just gonna drag this on over and kind of move this down a little bit. Now, sometimes you will need to do a little bit of perhaps unfolding or relaxing of an object like we did in the previous videos where you want to do an unfold. In fact, let me just go ahead and stitch this together and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to grab all of those. I'm just going to go ahead and stitch that. And this all is scaled fine. So I'm not going to worry about unfolding that one. But this piece that we just stitched together where we got the four pieces together. Let me go ahead and find it here in our layout. There it is right there. Let's right click. I'll go to shell. I'm going to select this. I'm going to drag this over. One thing that I did forget to do, which we're going to take care of now, is after you do it, you want to go ahead and select the UVs of the object, go ahead and go to polygons and just unfold it. That'll kind of optimize it because when you stitch the UVs together, they kind of stretch just a little bit and they may not be very uniform. But now I know I just unfolded it and I know it's gonna look real nice. So I'll just go ahead and drag this back over. But you know, again, we just moved some pieces around. So we'll just go ahead and real quickly to move everything back into place. I'll just select everything, go to polygons. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a layout again. Now in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about UV placement of the elements because now we have all these shells, but we're going to be texturing them different colors. And we're going to talk about how you should lay out the UV and where you should place things apart from one another and a good way to set this up for when you begin texturing. If you have any questions or comments, please post below the video on brainpoop.com.